My name's Masato Kimura. I'm 24. And yeah, I'm that kind of dude who's all about games and anime. Hello? Mom? Why are you calling me this early? What? Huh? Uh, I'm still half asleep. Honestly, you stayed up all night again, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, so what? You're not a kid anymore, you know? Maybe it's time you thought about getting married. Wait, hold up. I'm only 24! When I was your age, your dad and I were already married. You're always gaming and whatnot. Oh, great. Here we go with the lecture. Ten minutes later. Man, she's always on my case. If I had someone to marry, I'd freaking do it. But first, I gotta, you know, get a girlfriend. It's been, what, two years? And I'm still hung up on my ex. Talk about pathetic. Yeah, it's been two years, and I still can't forget about her. I met Alisa back in college. We clicked right away because we had the same hobbies. Whoa, you play Tokimeki Fantasia online too? Yep, it's so much fun. I'm already at max level though. Before I knew it, I confessed, and we started going out. Then came that day. We had a date planned for her birthday, but she ghosted me. It's been two freaking hours since we were supposed to meet. What's going on? No matter how many times I called, she never picked up. She even stopped showing up at college. I was so pissed, I shot her a breakup text, but... The next thing I know, she drops out of college, vanishes from her apartment too. What happened? She could have at least told me what was going on. Two years, and I still got her birthday present. Guess I'll never get to give it to her. Man, what a mess I am. Monday comes around. Oh, Masato, you look down. Man, Otaku, I'm stressed. My mom's hounding me about getting married. Oh, that's rough. Wait a minute, my name's Otaku Da, not Otaku. Otaku Da's my colleague, and despite everything, he's like my best bud. <laughs> my bad, just joking with you. Ahem, if that's the case... Ugh, if only there was a way to shut my mom up. Have you thought about joining a matchmaking service? Could solve your problem. Wait, you use one of those? No, not me. But I know the director of one. If I refer you, you'll even get a discount. Huh? Seriously? A matchmaking agency, huh? Never thought about it, but maybe it's not such a bad idea. A few days later. Alright, I'm really here. Tokimeki Matchmaking Agency. This is the place Otakuda was talking about, huh? Man, I'm freaking nervous, but I can't keep living in the past. Time to move on! Uh, hi. I've got a reservation. It's Kimura. Welcome! If you'll just come over to the counter, I can... W wait no way! Alisa? Masato? Is that really you? So, first time using a service like this? Uh, y yeah it is. Alright then. Let's find your ideal match. Just fill out this form for me. Uh, sure. Wait, why is my ex the one helping me find a match? I kept answering her questions about my type while Alisa stayed totally professional. Alright, I'll grab the paperwork. Be back in a bit. Got it. Man, she really doesn't care about me anymore, huh? <laughs> Ten minutes later. Nope, this one's no good. This one doesn't match either. Uh... Oh? How about this one? Wait, really? Let me see. Uh, this is... It's me. I mean, I know that, but... I'm the only one who matches your criteria. What? Hold up, that's crazy! Why is she even in the system? She's the consultant! So, what'll it be? If you like the match, we can set up a date. Whoa, wait up! None of this makes sense. You don't want to go on a date? Am I not your type? Ugh, of course you're my type. We did date, remember? <laughs> then it's settled. Fast forward to the day of the date. Ugh, I can't believe I'm actually going on this date. 
I still can't figure out what Alice's deal is. But hey, maybe this will give us a chance to talk things over. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Oh, you actually showed up on time this time. What do you think? I put some effort into it. Uh, yeah, you look great. Really? <laughs> Glad to hear it. <sighs> Whoa, she used to be so plain and skinny. Now she's like a whole different person. Kind of stunning, to be honest. All right, let's go. Whoa, too close. This is normal, right? I mean, it's a date. Y yeah I guess, but... Oh, by the way, you still an otaku, Masato? Uh, yeah, what about it? I don't mind at all. I like that stuff too. Oh, there's this place I want to check out. Huh? Where she brought me was... A giant bookstore packed with otaku merch. Look, look! It's the Demon Lily figure from Magical Mill Episode 43! Isn't this sick? It's like god tier amazing! Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Wait a sec, is she actually the same person inside? Seems like she hasn't changed much after all. Time flew by, and... Before we knew it, the date was almost over. So, what do you think? How was the date? Huh? What do you mean? If you're not into me, I can hook you up with someone else. Oh, so that's what you meant. So, what's it gonna be? What do you want, Masato? Uh, can I ask you something? Why didn't you show up that day? I waited for you the whole time. Well... Huh? What is it? Sorry, I can't tell you, Masato. What? If I don't explain, are you never gonna see me again? Th that's not it, but... I really want to know what happened that day, but we're here now, aren't we? <laughs> After that, I kept dating Alisa through the matchmaking service. And now, here I am, hanging out at her place. She said she wanted to cook for me. What do you think? I hope you like it. Whoa, it's all my favorites. You actually remembered? Like I'd ever forget. Come on, open up. I, I'm good. I can eat on my own, you know. Nope. No can do. Here comes the plane. Uh, uh... Man, Alisa would make a killer wife. Oh, wait, what the heck am I thinking? One hour later. I'll clean up the dishes. You just relax, Masato. Oh, uh, thanks. So this is Alisa's room, huh? It's got this really nice girly scent. Huh? Is this a guy's watch? Wait, could this be her boyfriend's? Uh, no, no, hold up. Maybe she just likes wearing guy stuff. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I'm back. Hey, wanna grab a drink while we're at it? Oh, sure. That sounds cool. Is everything okay? Y yeah, it's nothing. All right then. Let me just grab the glasses. <laughs> be careful. You okay? Yeah, sorry. I kind of slipped. Uh, her face is so close. I mean, I still... I still like her, don't I? S sorry, but I think I gotta head out. Huh? W why though? Oh, right. I totally forgot I've got work early tomorrow. Jeez, what was I thinking? <laughs> uh, well, if it's for work, I guess I can't argue. What is wrong with me? I almost got caught up in some seriously weird vibes. <laughs> a few days later. Man, I'm glad that business meeting went well. Oh yeah, the dating agency's near here. Wonder if Alisa just finished work too. For the last time, Ken, I don't need you to pick me up. It's almost dark. What if something happens to you? Jeez, you're such a worrywart. Stop complaining. We're heading home. What? Alisa... And that guy... Wait, is that her? <laughs> so, she's got a boyfriend after all, huh? Guess that watch in her room was her boyfriend's. All those dates we went on, I bet they were just part of her job, some quota she had to fill. Since then, even at work, I couldn't shake the funk. I feel like I got dumped. 
But then again, we never even started anything in the first place. You're looking kinda pale. You alright? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was just zoning out. I'm fine. If you say so. By the way, how's the whole dating agency thing going? Oh man, sorry, but I I'm done with that. It wasn't really my scene. I see. That's a shame. There's no point in dragging this out anymore. The next weekend, I went back to the matchmaking agency for the first time in a while. Masato! I was worried about you. You hadn't reached out at all. Yeah, sorry. Work's been crazy. Oh, I see. So, what brings you in today? Well, about that. I'm here to cancel my membership. What? Why? Can I at least ask why? It's just, you know, I kind of want to pick my own partner, do things my own way. Am I not good enough for you? If that's the case, I, I could introduce you to someone else. Nah, it's not about that. I just, I think it's time to cancel. What? That's not good enough. Hey, how about we go on another date? I'll try way harder this time. Huh? Why the heck is it going there? Please! If it still doesn't work, I'll give up. I'll text you the details later. B wait hold up. Don't just decide stuff on your own like that. And just like that, I couldn't say no to her. What's going on in her head? Seriously, is hitting her quota really that important? Oh shoot, it's work? Y yes hello A few days passed, and I still had no clue what Alisa was thinking. And then, it's the day of the date. Uh, of course, I get stuck with a last-minute issue. By the time I've finished dealing with the complaint, it's already this late. Wait, what time was the meetup again? Was it 8? I wonder if she's still waiting. No, no, it's not like we actually made plans or anything. She just said it on her own. No big deal. Huh? What the? Oh, right. I accidentally shoved it in my bag the other day. Um, uh, everything okay, Masato? What? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Why? You've been checking the time like a hundred times. You sure you don't have somewhere to be? Uh, uh, well, I, uh... I don't know the details, but if you've got plans, you should probably go. You might regret it if you don't. Uh, he's right. Am I really gonna mess this up again? I've gotta go and just say what I've been holding back. I can finish up here on my own. Go on, hurry up. Thanks, Otakuda. I'll make this up to you, I swear. You can repay me with one of those limited edition figures. Alisa, please still be there. I sprinted to the meeting spot, but... <sighs> I tried calling her, but no answer. Did she already leave? Wait, no, there she is. But wait, who's that? It's already past 10. You're gonna catch a cold if you stay out here. Just go home already. No way, I'm not leaving. If you want to go, go by yourself. What? I'm just looking out for you. Well, I didn't ask for it. What are they even arguing about? Uh, I forget that. Hey, stop. She said she doesn't want to go. Huh? Who are you? This ain't your business. Stay out of it. It is my business. Alisa, she's my ex. Huh? Yeah, I know it's lame, but I still care about Alisa. If you're her boyfriend, at least treat her better, man. M Masato? Wait, you think I'm her boyfriend? Uh, yeah, aren't you? <laughs> what? Why is he laughing? Was what I said really that dumb? Sorry, man. Couldn't help it. But, uh, you've got it all wrong. What do you mean? Uh, this guy's my brother. Hey, I'm Ken. Her bro. Nice to meet you. What? Wait, so that guy's watch I saw in your room... Huh? Yeah, that's his. Oh, shoot. I did leave it there. I've been looking for that. No way! So I totally messed up this whole thing, huh? Well, now that your ride's here, I'm out. Don't stay out too late. Uh, yeah. 
Sorry for keeping you waiting, got caught up with some work. Don't apologize. I was the one who decided all this. But, um, about what you said earlier... Ugh. Come on, man. You already decided to go for it. Say it! I know it's selfish since I'm the one who dumped you, but I still like you, Alisa. I just thought you had a new boyfriend and, well... Oh, so that's why you wanted to break things off, huh? Sorry I made you think that. I owe you the truth, Masato. The thing is, I was sick for a long time. Even back when we were dating. Wait, what? The doctors told me I wasn't going to make it. Uh, no way! But don't worry. I'm all better now. All I ever wanted was to have a normal relationship. That's why I hid my illness and kept dating you. But that day, right before our date, I got really sick. It turns out, Alisa had passed out and hovered between life and death for days. Then, miraculously, they found a donor, and she pulled through. But by then, I'd already changed my number, and we lost touch. My brother's always been overprotective because he still worries about my health. It's a pain, honestly. So that's what happened. But, you know, if you just told me when we first met up again... Sorry, but I thought if you knew I was sick, you might hate me. And I couldn't handle being dumped again. What? I'd never do that to you. Honestly, when I ran into you at the matchmaking place, I was shocked. I thought I'd never see you again, so I couldn't help myself. I asked you out. Yeah, I was surprised too, but isn't that like some kind of power abuse? No, don't worry. I told the boss. As soon as I said you were my ex, he was totally cool with it. Oh, so that's the guy Otakuda mentioned. I know it's late, but... I still like you, Masato. Even when we lost touch, I never forgot you. Not once. Ali said, thanks. I'm sorry I sent all those awful texts without knowing anything. I, uh, actually got something for you. Huh? Ali said, I like you. I want you to be my girlfriend again. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yes, I'll be your girlfriend. So, yeah, we started dating again. Even Otakura and Alisa's brother gave us their blessing. Oh, and I officially cancelled my matchmaking service. When I told my mom I got a girlfriend, she was over the moon. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm guessing she'll finally stop nagging me about getting married. <laughs> I'm free for a while. Wait, what do you mean? Wait a minute. Wasn't that an engagement ring? So wait, are you not planning on marrying me? You want to stay single that bad? Huh? No, that's not what I meant. Uh, just calm down. Like I can calm down? So, when should we have the wedding? I want to have kids with you, Masato. Uh, at this rate, looks like my mom might be seeing grandkids sooner than I thought. Well, guess I'm cool with that. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!